guys welcome back to the channel today we're right back at it with some more pokemon manga dove um it is currently night time where i'm at so i'm not trying to be too loud so yeah but we're going to be continuing this soon we're going to be reacting to four of them today so yeah let's get this started and let's see what's going on it was a belief that we held without any basis back in those days we truly thought that the relationship between the three of us was something that would never change no I jumped into Evie's. Everyone, I must have really made you worry. I am sorry for pausing already, but she has a wound on her head. Is that from the mindscape from last, like last time when she went into Evie's head? Hmm. That you did. Red, why are you here? I came hey, to grab Red. something I forgot and happened to find you here. Uh? Wait, where is this? The hospital. Uh. Oh. Ooh. Blue. When I brought Evie okay. out of her dream, <laughs> I found myself at an inn at the Pokemon Center. Immediately after waking up, I passed out again and was unconscious oh. for another three days. Jeez. That was the same length of time that I had spent inside Evie's dream. Hmm. You were lucky. Events occurring inside deeply shared dreams can be reflected upon one's body as well, since the brain views such events as reality. Indeed, that wound on your forehead was caused not from the outside, but by your skin splitting from within. So I was right. I'm sure you would have read in this book. There are plenty of noted cases concerning people being unable to return from their dream. Never do such a thing again. Think of how much your Pokemon would suffer, knowing their own techniques injured their trainer. Yep. Honchan, everyone, I'm sorry. No. I promise you. That I would definitely become a trainer you all can rely on. Hey. <laughs> you really went over the top this time, didn't you, Blue? I don't want to be told that by you of all people, Red. <laughs> I really thought you might stop being a trainer. Yeah, I thought that I was going to give up too. Huh? But they got angry with me. Aww. So I decided to <laughs> give up on giving up. I get you. <laughs> I see. It seems like we're always getting saved for our Pokemon, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Pikachu's face. <laughs> Will you hang out with me for a little while? It's been a while, hasn't it? since we've chatted while eating like this. This is also a memorial for Radicate. In a Gathers book it said that if you collect something the deceased loved and talk about your memories of them, it will be beneficial for both the deceased and those left behind. Hey. Honestly, Green should really be here too. I sure. couldn't get in contact with him, so we'll have to do without. I did leave a message for him at the Pokemon Center, though. After that, we talked about so many things with each other. About before we all set off from Palatal, our journeys thus far, the battle against evil, what happened when I was inside the dream, and about our stories with our Pokemon. 
understand the situation he was in, but still, I have no interest in a Pokemon. I'm sorry for pausing, but these Pokemon's faces, like right now, Eevee's face. Oh my god. They won't fight? What kind of thing is that to say? He's horrible. <laughs> is that Eevee, really Eevee, Eevee, Eevee. Yeah, it's a fruit au lait. You want some? Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Are you saying you can't handle it, huh? You're drunk of juice. Yep. Well, green has been like that for as long as I can remember. Pikachu one. <laughs> Pikachu. <laughs> Bzzz. The answer is green's Raditas exasperated facial expression. Pikachu! Spot on. <laughs> he mocked and made a fool out of me. Me too. But more annoying than anything else is that ever since we met him, we haven't beaten him even once. Hmm. The movement of that radicate had stuck with us since Viridian Forest. We tried to mimic it. Yet, when we battled in Cerulean, we couldn't match him at all. Oh. But by training harder and faster, there was a time we managed to reach his level briefly. Nice. Quick attack. Oh, yeah. Pika! Pika! Now Pikachu! Volta! <laughs> hey. The hell was that? Instead of discharging it, you attack by coating yourself in the electricity generated by Thunderbolt? Volt Tackle, was it? It seems like you've somehow managed to come up with an original technique. But did you honestly believe that was all it would take to defeat my Radicate? No. It's not just an original attack. This is Pikachu's first attack. Nice. Every time we fought, you've defeated us handily. But this time, we finally managed to land a proper blow. Pathetic. That was when we saw it for the first time. <sighs> a face Ew. that showed from the bottom right of that its face. heart. True happiness <laughs> at seeing the opponent's strength. E a face that acknowledged the power of its opponent while maintaining absolute pride in its own might. Yep. Although we ended up losing on that occasion too. But still, it felt amazing. It was a great battle. Oh. Do you remember it, Evie? You were there after all. <laughs> I get it. I wanted to battle him again too. Many more times. <laughs> I don't know if the day will come when this hole in our hearts will be filled. The only thing I can say is he left behind something incredible for each of us. Yep. That admirable power, his strength of will, and the happiness they shared. Our Pokemon remember all of that. You have one new message. Hello? This is Blue. I thought you <laughs> should know that Evie has woken up. She's okay for the time being. Um, if I'm being honest, I was never as close to Radicate as Red or yourself. So I thought I wouldn't be able to understand Evie's situation as deeply. But the professors talked to me about the relationships between Pokemon and people. He told me that each one is unique. I can't empathize with or understand Pokemon the way Red does. And I can't create a unified, hard-working team whilst keeping my distance like you do. Mm. However, I finally found my resolution. I will walk beside Evie, who has inherited Radicate's soul. Mm. Huh, Evie? Hmm? What? 
the heck? Evie? Huh. She's right there. Help. Help. Evie? Evie? She evolved? B but I thought Evie only evolved with a stone. What? What is this? The power to move things without touching them. And sending pictures through telepathy. Ah, I see. This is what Evie wanted back then. Wow. So this is Evie's new power. Vega? Born from past Aww. regret, the power to protect one's new friends. Amazing. <laughs> Pokemon really are amazing. to the next one well, let's go <laughs> okay here's the next one and it looks like it's going to be about cubone as we see right here so let's see what's going on mother my mother who takes care of me my mother who protected me. Aww. Even though I want to hear your voice, even though I want to hold your hand, even though I want to see you, you are not here anymore. Cubone, the graves are on the last floor. Until then, if you want to enter your Pokeball, <laughs> it's too big for him and he can't use it properly. The bone that Cubone carries, he always carries it in memory. He was born in this Pokemon Tower. He must be remembering things. It was only two months ago that Team Rocket murdered his mother Marowak. Even defeating Team Rocket did not bring him any happiness. Hmm. Huh? Wild Cuba? Why are they upset? Ah. Uh, do you know them? That's... Is this the home of those Cubone? Those are... The bones that were taken by Team Rocket. The Cubone are wary of humans. Of course. Team Rocket desired the bones of the Cubone. The Cubone were captured before they could retaliate. The tunnel collapsed. And the area around it has collapsed too. They can't even properly protect the bones there. Oh. Kill. Huh. Where are you going? Where are they going? Let's follow them. Oh. A set of stairs. The remnants of Team Rocket's destruction. Here it hmm. is. This was her nest. Sure, you want to give the home where you lived with her to them, right? 
We're going to climb the tower one more time. Will you come with us? Don't worry, Marowak. I'm going to take care of him. Let's hunt that Cubone too, just like we did with its mother. I won't let you. He's already one of our friends. Hey. Cute boy. Like I said before, you're already one of us. Do you feel like you need to pledge your commitment? I see. Let's go. He has matured. Now he's able to stand on his own. <laughs> Cubone's mother. She was killed by Team Rocket. Cubone is going to travel with us now. I can't replace his mother, but I promise he will never be alone. By the way, it is nice to meet you. Thank <laughs> you. You do it like this. Put your hands together, close your eyes, and speak from your heart. Hey. To Marowak. It's as if he received the strength of his mother. This is the bone you had before. It grew as well. But still, your memory is the greatest symbol. Yep. Your mother. She was very strong, right? believed I had to give him that bone, but now, that heavy memory he used to carry in his arms, he can wield it freely. Nice. All Pokemon, no, all living beings. Loneliness, despair, no matter what shape they take, we have the strength to overcome our pasts. Yep. That must be it. From the moment we are born, standing by us, are our parents, our mothers. Not being able to hear your voice, not being able to hold your hand, you no longer being able to hug me, it makes me very, very sad, but I am okay. I don't need to worry anymore. I am not alone anymore. Because I... I will never forget Aww. your face, your voice, the touch of your hands, your presence, the things you taught me. You created me. You protected me. You loved me. Thank you. Goodbye, Mama. Until the day we meet again. just wow let's hold on let's go on to the next one which is the dot one let's go okay welcome 
to the dot one out of four. Let's can continue. <laughs> I am finally here. It's time to challenge the Indigo League, the ultimate hey. stage. Let's go, Pikachu! Pikachu! You are full of energy as usual. How about you come down a bit? Misty. Hey, yeah. Misty. Long time no see. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you again, Pikachu. Huh? What are you doing here? Wait. Yep. <laughs> to cheer me on? No. <laughs> I'm entering the league too. Is that so? That means I have more than one rival here. That mm. is right. Anyway, it seemed like you just arrived here. Did you register for the preliminary? Uh... The registration <laughs> will end in five minutes. You should have said that oh. first! Yep. Whoa, all those people are entering the preliminary? It's good that you made it in time, but you're so careless as usual. Get off. <laughs> hmm. I'm in block F. Third match is at field number 18. Huh? Oh, it's a different block green. for the preliminary. Just as I want it. I have to battle green at the main competition. Well then, guess I will spend some time hanging around here. What? What about your match? Well, I was seated into the bracket, so I start from the third round. What? What do you mean? <laughs> is that the privilege of a gym leader? There is no such privilege. You know, I was in the top three at Cinnabar League last time. My trainer rank went up from that and I got the seat. What? Hey. No fair. It's based on results. You lost to me there. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need something like that. I can get through the preliminary easily. Huh? Uh, that hurts. You know, you'll lose <laughs> if you're so full of yourself. True. Indigo League is different from Cinnabar League. All the participants are ace trainers from various regions who got eight badges with their skills. And there are more than 200 of them. Only 200? 12 of them can get through the preliminary and participate Jeez. in the main competition. It's a battlefield where you have to go all out. Hmm. Yeah, I can definitely feel it when I look around. Every single one of them is... At a totally different level. Jeez. Yeah, I'm also one of them. So... <laughs> That's right. There is no meaning to the competition if I win easily. There's a special view you can only see by climbing to the top. That's exactly what I want. <laughs> Strong trainers, nice. hard battles. Let all come at me. Show me that special view. He definitely <laughs> hasn't changed at all. <laughs> now, Fanshin! Hey! Shadow Ball! Hi, Blue! I did it! <laughs> Good job getting the first win! Red! What are you doing here? I'm here to cheer you on. Oh, thank you. Uh, so did you lose? My match <laughs> didn't even start yet. Congratulations on getting through the first round of the preliminary. Ah, Misty. It seems like things are going well. <laughs> but conditioning all my Pokemon was pretty tough. Woo! Let's go, Pikachu! <laughs> <laughs> Stop that! Ow. It's embarrassing! Mm. Yep, I'm not going to lose to red or green. <laughs> After all, I'm also from Pallet Town. Yep. <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> Is that the line of someone who almost didn't register in time? Will you drop that already? <laughs> I'm going to hear my fan shan at the Pokemon Center. You have your match soon, right? I will be there to watch it later. 
Ah, I also need to go to the Pokemon Center. Ah! What the heck are you doing? Red. What? I will not forgive you if you lose, since you are the trainer that I have acknowledged and given my badge. Do your oh. best! Yeah, I got it. Pikachu! Okay! Let's do this, Pikachu! Pikachu! <laughs> okay, let's go, let's go. Each trainer is allowed to use up to two Pokémon. You may exchange your Pokémon freely during the battle, but only between the two Pokémon that are used. You lose okay. if both Pokémon faint first. Are you ready? Yes. Then, the third match of the F-Block, the first round of the preliminary, will now begin. Red of Peloton versus Akira the Beast Tamer. Okay, let's go, Beast Pikachu! Go Beedrill! Yeah. Let's go first! Thunderbolt! Yeah. I won't let you! Pin Missile! Yeah. Damn! Did he block Thunderbolt by using Pin Missile as a lightning rod? Yeah. Uh, double team? That many? Yeah. <laughs> go Beedrill! It's coming, Pikachu! Egg Scissor! Jeez. Are you okay? Pin Missile! Damn! There's nothing I can do if I don't find out which one is the real one! Yeah. Oh, the shadow! Wait, shadow? Only the real one has a shadow. Pikachu! Third one on the top right! Swift! That's the real one! Break it through! Twin needle! It doesn't matter, even if you figure out the real one. Don't underestimate my Beedrill. <laughs> hey. It's you who shouldn't. Was Shift just a bait? Underestimate my Pikachu! Volt Tackle! Nice. Beedrill fainted. Shit! Come back, Beedrill! That was unexpected. To be able to get into a blind spot in that short time and attack my Beedrill. What was that move? Volt Tackle? Is that his original move or something? It was similar to Flame Wheel, but its power was incomparable to it. Quite good, that kiddo. Red of Peloton, huh? Good job, Pikachu! Just one more to go! Pika! Hey! There goes Queen! There goes Queen! <laughs> okay. Let's go on to the fourth one. Let's go. Here we go. Fourth one. Uh, four. Let's continue. Hey, All right. nice joy. And it will take about an hour. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh no, my match! Oh. Oh, those clothes are for ace trainers of the Unova region. Were you looking for this, Misty? Application for gym facility reformation. Yep. Would you submit it in your name? I need to put a hold on my gym leader license during the league. Okay, I got it. How are things? What? With Red. Uh, you were always with him on Cinnabar Island. I told oh. you. I just ran into him out of pure chance. <laughs> oh, really? Does she like Sounds Red? Suspicious. What is? Whatever. I'm busy. <laughs> so bye. Okay, fine. Good luck with your match. <sighs> 
together the whole time? What? I never thought you two were in that kind of relationship. You must have done things like this and... Misty, do you want to see my master boss? Oh, Red. It's a right. misunderstanding. What are you daydreaming about? Who the heck are those two? Yeah, what are you dreaming hey, about? What the heck? Nothing hey? happened? That's boring. It was just a coincidence that we met at Cinnabar Island. First of all, I don't like brats like him. I like guys who are handsome, older than me, taller, good at Pokemon battling, kind, understanding, and independent. Hmm. hmm. So what really happened? I just told you! Nothing happened! <laughs> Misty Senpai. Huh? Misty Yo. Senpai? So you've also joined hmm. the league. Volkner. What? The champion of the last Cinnabar League? Would you stop calling me Senpai? You're older than me. But you're my Senpai as a gym leader, right? Since I've become the Sunny Shore City Gyms leader only about a month ago. Sunny Shore is a city in the Sinnoh region, if I recall correctly. All the current gym leaders and ace trainers from the Unova region are gathered just for the preliminaries. Hmm. Indigo League really is a high level league. Yeah. Oh, and you are? Uh, I'm Blue from Pallet Town. Pallet Town? Then you are from the same town as Red. You know Red? Yeah, we battled once at Vermilion City. He sure fought with passion. He reminds me of a friend of mine, so I remember him well. <laughs> I see. <laughs> ah, we forgot about Red's match. So Red is also participating? We're going to cheer for Red, so would you like to come as well? I have to wait for my friend. Whatever. This sounds more interesting. <laughs> it could have started already. Let's hurry. Ice shard. Oh, oh, they started already. How is it going? Red is leading. So, he took one down with Pikachu, and he changed the entry because of the type matchup. Lapras, hmm. the opponent is a ground type Pokemon. Let's end this with a single strike. Hydro Palm. What the move? He did it! Oh! What? Hydro Pump didn't work? Water doesn't work on my Sand Slash. And this is the finisher! Why didn't it work then? Finisher. <laughs> Lapras fainted! Rest, Lapras. Damn. I didn't expect water attacks to be ineffective. Is it odd? Why was water not effective? It's yeah, not that's a right. special ability. It's a result of training. He couldn't forgive himself because he couldn't overcome his fear of water. So, he trained. Challenging the limits of his species by stepping into water on his own will. And his carapace got sturdier than that of any other sand slash. He overcame his fear and triumphed over water. Okay, that's There's cool. a dream we have. With my partner, Sand Slash, I will be the ultimate trainer who overcomes the type weakness. Hey. Let's finish this battle with our last Pokemon. <laughs> Between me, who is aiming to be the Pokemon master, and you. Who is aiming to be the ultimate trainer? Let's find out who is stronger! Well said. But don't you think I'll go easy on you because you're using an electric type? That is exactly what I want! Well, it seems like they are heated up and ready to go. What on earth is he thinking? Electric type attacks won't be effective against ground types, while ground type attacks are super effective against electric types. It is impossible for him to win without a plan. Pikachu, Swift! Sand Slash, Rapid Spin! So he reflects it easily like that. Now then, 
Should I wait for an opening when he stops spinning? While I definitely have type advantage, I need to be careful of Pikachu's speed, which my Beedrill could only react to. Guess he can't be too careful. Sand Slash! Dig! Okay. I don't know where it's coming from. Then... Quick attack! Confuse the opponent with your speed! Pika! Counter it with Iron Tail! Double team? No. That substitute. It has the two of its HP to create a decoy. Oh. Slash. <laughs> <laughs> so you got it with Iron Tail? Well done. But the moment your Pikachu lands, mm, will be his last. Okay, Pikachu. We're turning this around. You stick again, Sand Slash. Ooh. I don't know what you're trying to pull off here, but electric type moves will not be effective to my Sand Slash, who overcame his weakness and is hiding under the ground. Don't worry. What I'm aiming for is to be the Pokemon Master, you know? Swift! Huh? Oh, it's going into the... the oh! What is he? Plus... Hey! What? The field? <laughs> no matter who the opponent is, no matter how much of a disadvantage you have, you win no matter what. Hey. That's what being the strongest trainer is. No! Sand Slash! For us, aiming to be the Pokemon Master, Overcoming the type weakness is nothing but the most basic of basics! Nice. Sand Slash fainted! The winner is Red from Pellet Town! Red Rain! Oh yeah! yeah! Yay! He won the first match! Shooting the energy bullets into the crag and combusting with electricity to explode the field. He even used the crag made by the fissure against us. Yep. We're still not quite there yet. Let's come back after more training. Partner. <laughs> Red, right? Don't you lose on the next round, since you beat me after all. No need to worry. I have no intention of losing until I win this league. No. Nice. <laughs> <sighs> to think that he beat Sand Slash with Pikachu using methods like that. <laughs> I won! You sure are interesting. Ah, oh, Red! <gasps> Green was over there! Green! What? When did he disappear? Does he have a match? Green. Indigo Plateau. Hey. The Pokemon Stadium. Let's finish it over there. At the end of our journey, let's finish everything over there. At the ultimate <laughs> stage! Hey. <laughs> okay guys, that's gonna be it for today. The links to all four of the videos that we saw will be in the description below. If you guys like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below what you guys think. And if you join us for the first time, hit that subscribe button once you do. You get the bell notification, hit that as well. So get notified or when I upload videos like this one. And I will see you guys next time. Yippee.